season. Hey my dudes, thanks for joining me for a very autumnal and festive week. Last year in the fall I read this book, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry by John Mark Comer and it's completely changed my life. It's made me learn to make the most of each literal season and in each season of life. So now I try to live each season to its fullest and that's exactly what we're gonna do in today's video because it's been a hard year and I'm ready to feel all of the feel good, cozy, warm, safe, good vibes. We're gonna kick off the transition to fall with one of my favorite things. <laughs> it's time to become the fall decorating fairy. Every decorating session should start with a soundtrack to match the occasion. So I will share this playlist below in case you'd like to use it for your own decorating festivities. And I personally enjoy putting on an autumnal themed ambience room or film silently just to set the mood as well. I'm starting the fall decor with this lovely copper sign from Hobby Lobby. I thought it was so minimal and the coloring on it was just beautiful. And then I'm just adding in our recipe book, my year-round tea set that I use and love, and the one fall mug we own that's one of the two fall items we ended up salvaging after losing most of our belongings last year. I found these precious little cottage core dish towels at home goods but i didn't realize they'd be so tiny i love that they have more of a fall than halloween feel with the leaves and the mushrooms it reminds me of my reishi coffee and other medicinal mushrooms i take next i'm attempting to set up this garland i found at hobby lobby and i tried to do this with command hooks and it was quite a journey but i ended up finding a trick where you wipe the spot where you're gonna hang the hook with rubbing alcohol and it is supposed to stay up easier that way and so far so good. This glass pumpkin is the other fall item we salvaged from a few years ago and the lights really add some warmth to the space. And then for the first time in years, I ordered a scented candle because this one is made safe with 100% beeswax, a lead-free wick, and it is scented completely with essential oils. And it smells so good, like being inside of a cinnamon stick. I also wanted to mention some budget-friendly decor methods because we are still rebuilding a lot of our belongings and we had a $50 budget this year for decor. So another way I like to decorate seasonally is with books. I went to the library and grabbed some autumnal looking design and recipe books. And they're nice both for decor and for practical use when I'm meal planning or maybe designing our home. I can peruse through them and get some inspiration. Another simple way to add fall touches to your home is to use seasonal vegetables to decorate. Produce like apples, pumpkins, and squashes are all in season and typically whatever is in season is cheaper and richer in whatever its native nutrients are. So this can be both beautiful for your home and for your health too. And of course, once that fall crisp feeling is in the air, you can always open your windows and let the fresh air fill your home. Wow. 
Well, that ended up being so much fun, getting kind of creative on how to decorate on a budget. I'm so happy with the way that the house turned out. And now I have something really fun for us to do together. I think it's such a perfect transitional fall activity. Can you guess what we're doing? Can you guess? It is just not fall without Harry Potter. Today we're not just gonna watch the first film, but we are actually going to learn a little bit of calligraphy and maybe end up making our own Hogwarts letters. I am so freaking excited right now. <laughs> I'm alone when I'm filming this, but I'm truly in my cozy estate and I feel like we are doing this together right now. So I have been wanting a quill and ink set for a little while um, and just kind of to learn calligraphy I thought it'd be fun but then when I was thinking of fall activity ideas I was like now is the perfect time. So got this gorgeous quill and ink set. I just love that the packaging even is very like fall academia. It just looks gorgeous. So you can totally keep it and display it somewhere. But if you open it up, it's really great for like $25. It comes with the quill and quill holder, ink, the wax uh, melts, just wax, wax. This is clearly my first time <laughs> using a quill and ink set. The actual Hogwarts stamp, so that'll be fun. We'll get to do the whole wax seal bit. I also grabbed this stationery set from Amazon. It just came with this kind of like old timey looking paper that just looks like something you would write with if you were in a Harry Potter film or that you'd get your Hogwarts letter in. If you're not big into Harry Potter, I feel like it'd also be fun to watch an Austin film and you can pretend that you're writing a letter to a brooding mysterious man um, or just work on your calligraphy skills or poetry. I did a quick Google search of calligraphy alphabets and so I just have a couple of little inspiration alphabets to work with here. I don't even really care if it looks horrible or not because I'm just here to have a good time and pretend I'm in McGonagall's class taking notes <laughs> right now. So if you're ready, get wrapped up in your coziest blanket, outfit, grab a cup of tea, and let's do this.
like an apple festival in here. If you really want to immerse yourself into the fall season, highly recommend doing that via smells, whether that is a candle, essential oils, or cooking just festive fall type of foods. I can't recommend it highly enough. It smells so dang good in here. And you know, I had to get you a mug too because we have to do this together. We have to partake in the festivities together. And uh, this is one of my favorite mugs. <laughs> it's a little mushroom mug filled with hot apple cider, which you have to try right now. So here you go. Careful, it's hot. You got it? Okay. We'll try this in a little bit because it's still pretty hot and don't want a tongue burning situation on our hands. Or if you like scalding hot drinks, you can get started sipping on that while I share my fall book finds today at the library. It's really sad as an English graduate, I kind of just fell out of reading and then some of my really good friends and their husbands who have a podcast I will link below called Book Ends with Friends really inspired me to just get back into reading and I think it's such a great way to kind of take you outside of your senses, help you experience new things, especially um, if you are someone who may be chronically ill and it's hard for you to get out. Um, I think this is a great addition to maybe brain retraining or trauma work, healing work, and it's just so much fun. So I was basically looking for books that just took place in autumn or kind of had a fall feel to them. And I'm definitely much more of a pumpkin patch kind of girl than like a spooky kind of girl. But I do feel like the spookiest thing I do enjoy is a good mystery because mysteries just scream fall. I don't know, they just have a fall vibe. So this book actually did not get from the library. I ordered it because I saw the illustration of this and I just died and I just really wanted it. <laughs> so the first fall book I'll be reading is the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, and I believe this has his other stories, so it's really large. It's like the size of a Bible, but I just thought this was the most beautifully illustrated cover, this like whole leather-bound case on this book. I just thought it was so gorgeous. I've actually <laughs> never read Sherlock Holmes. Don't come for me. I love the show with Benedict. I loved the movies, even though they were a little dark for my taste, but I imagine I will love the book as well. And I don't know if I'll get through the whole thing, but I think I'd at least like to get through the adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Or actually, I think this starts with the sign of the four. I'm not sure if that's what's first in chronological order. And then the adventures of Sherlock Holmes are after that. So we'll see what we get through. I feel like this is a fall classic. I'm really excited to start this one. Okay, the book cover on this next one screamed like fall Hallmark to me, and it's The Bake Shop on Pumpkin and Spice. Something about it, it just looks like an easy read, like a feel good read. And I find actually books like this after you haven't read for a while, it's kind of nice to get back into reading with something kind of like I don't know if trashy is the right word, but I don't know, something like Twilight, Young Adult, or like just something that's a very light and easy read to get through. The description on it says, witches, goblins, the occasional ghosts, they're all sure to be spotted at the annual Halloween parade, where adults and children alike dress in costume to celebrate Moonbright's favorite holiday. And no place has more seasonal spirit than Bella Luna's Bake Shop, a family business steeped in traditional recipes welcoming warmth and legend has it, truly spellbinding, heart-melting treats. Spookiest thing will be how magical romance can suddenly be. Yeah, that sounds like a Hallmark movie to me. This last one is pretty popular, but like I said, it's been a while since I've been in the book world, so I just saw it and thought it made the perfect fall read, and that is The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. I believe it's based off the children of a lot of these classic <laughs> literature characters. The description says, Mary Jekyll, alone and penniless following her parents' death, quickly finds herself drawn into the secrets of her father's mysterious past. 
A clue leads her to believe that Edward Hyde, her father's former friend and, mur and a murderer, may be nearby and there still is a reward for information leading to his capture, a reward that would solve all of her immediate financial woes. Sherlock, Dr. Watson, and Mary are in here as well as the children of Frankenstein and some other characters. So it's kind of cool because you get like some of the spooky fall lore of like classic characters and it's also a mystery so this one truly is very much a fall read. <laughs> I didn't want to overdo it so that's all I grabbed. I think I do want to start with the bake shop at Pumpkin and Spice. It just seems like it'll be easy to kind of breeze through. So let's go ahead and read together but before we do that let's try our apple cider. If you haven't already tried it that is. Cheers. <laughs> It's pretty good. You know when you can't tell if something's too sweet or it's not sweet enough? I feel like that's how I'm feeling about this. It's good, but it's not like perfect. But it's still good. It's nice to have while we get into our fall reading. 